God, these guys are so good. And I can't believe I should address this. Leo, he gets so possessive. <laughs> Good morning, monkey moon. Good morning. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning, everyone. I'm having a very nice chilled start to the day. Oh, can you see that on my nose? Oh, I banged my nose on the door today. <laughs> I full on walked straight into the door. It's not that cute is it? Basically the postman came to deliver a very exciting parcel and I opened the door and Leo always loves to leg it out and I went to grab him and I just banged my nose on the door and I was just like holding my nose and holding the dog. <laughs> the postman was like what have I walked into? Oh, it was an eventful morning to say the least so I need to go and put on some makeup. I have quite an exciting day actually. Oh by the way, sheets being changed. Oh, God so bad doesn't it the sheets are being changed today hence why my bed isn't made oh look at these two becoming friends it's taken quite a while for them <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh i was just saying how you were being nice to leo finally finally Leo's so good like he just takes it and Duke is so mean to him Duke is really like a possessive dog and I've never seen that side to him but I guess no one's ever stayed like whenever we've seen dogs or been with friends dogs no one's ever stayed my tan today is looking phenomenal if I may say so myself I tried the Saint Tropez extra dark I normally use dark and this is from last week that I used this and it still looks amazing I did extra dark and then I did the vitamin mist over the top. Where is it? This one. I've shown you this probably 300 million times. I did this over the top and it's just lasted so well and it looks so natural. When I see it in the reflection, I'm like, hello me. Minus my nose right now. Duke has resumed position after that little feud. Are you going to be okay? Time to do my makeup. You would not believe how long my brushes haven't been washed in. Definitely need to do that tonight. Let's see what I can use to cover this nose. I have done my makeup. Leo is here sleeping next to me. Where is he? There he is. I want to address something that's come up in the comments recently and I can't believe I should address this, but it's really, uh, it's a first world problem, which is why I don't want, really want to address it. But my hair right now um, is a bit of a state because my hairdresser, um, as you all know, by the way, none of us have had our, been able to have our hair done for four months. And my hairdresser went and moved back to Greece right before lockdown. And it's looking unlikely that she's going to come back. And so she said to me to go and see someone else. Now my hairdresser, Despina, some of you might know her. I know a lot of you went to her as well. Um, I've been pretty loyal to her for like five years. And I tried someone else who I'm not going to name. I do feel like her work is really good. Her Instagram looks amazing. Um, however, for me, it just didn't work. And I had really dark roots, red, red, red ends, and really yellow ends. I'll insert a picture now. That's not what it looked like right away. That happened about two weeks later. It was like a few washes later. And I've been dyeing my hair for like 15 years and that's never really happened to me before. So I was a bit disappointed. I went back. Um, it wasn't really rectified um, and I'm not blaming anyone at all. I think honestly from having my hair dyed so many times it takes so long to understand the person's hair. Especially my type of hair goes red so easily, it gets dry really easily, it picks up colour. Quite difficult in some areas, easier in others and that's why I stay so loyal to hairdressers and colourists because we know each other and they know what I like. So there's Pina who I've had for like five years. I'm like, God, I can't have her. However, right now, everyone keeps mentioning my hair. So I'm, I keep tying it back or having it up. So it doesn't actually look so bad from the front. I don't think it has a bit of a green tint. Um, and then when you kind of get into it, it's a bit red on the inside. Can you see like it goes a bit red and the color doesn't blend that well. Um, I really don't think it's, it's, bad it's all right um my roots 
aren't as dark as what they were in the beginning. I went to someone in London to try and blend the roots a bit better to the rest of my hair as well. Um, but at the moment I'm trying not to put too much heat onto it. I mean, you can see a bit better there, like the sort of variety in colors. I literally am a variety pack <laughs> of hair colors on one head, which is a bit sad. Um, the blend isn't horrific. Anyway, it's not how I would want it to be, which is why I keep just kind of putting it behind my head and when people do see it they're like what happened also this was the other thing because i dyed it with someone that used permanent dye the first time my hair just started breaking off look how sad this is like so much of my hair just kind of like disappeared and got really wispy and i'm so religious at using masks so i've just been sleeping in my hair mask to try and bring it back and my hair just got really really like broken and horrible so my ponytail has actually never been this small before like I've never been able to hold, hold my ponytail like this and like for it to be this thin so anyway it's a work in progress I have faith that it will get to where I want it to be again and like I said I'm not like holding anyone accountable for my hair I, I chose to go to different places I was a paying customer at all those places even Despina in the beginning she gave me a few free treatments and then I went to her and I paid I do believe and I do this a lot is that when I love something and I would recommend it to people I'm more than happy to pay for it myself so I paid for all my hair appointments so I don't really want to go around like slating people's businesses especially when it's a challenging time for people here's my doorbell hold on this just arrived and i'm hoping it's a red shampoo hello mister i'm hoping it's a red shampoo to get rid of the green yes this is what i ordered on amazon yesterday a red shampoo to try and get rid of the green in my hair and then i use a purple shampoo to get rid of the red so that is new anyway like i said it's really it's not that bad it's not the end of the world at all especially when i curl it with my dyson corral it which i love so much by the way it really like blends a lot better it's more just when you kind of look at it in detail and it's also that so much is broken off which is really sad anyway like i said it's no one's fault it is what it is really and i'm just gonna have to get on with it and hope that the broken bits grow back and i'm able to fix it soon i just don't want to over process it at the moment so i'm just gonna leave it a bit for now right let's see what to wear my wardrobe right now is a bit of a mix between like winter and like autumn and then still summer by the way before i change my pajamas are new and i'll link them down below because they're really silky and really comfortable and they actually are so beautiful as well outfit of the day i have finally decided what to wear today i've got this new gorgeous coat on which is from me and m which i love so much it's beautiful i'll link it down below and then i have this top which i just showed in my pretty little thing haul this belt which i haven't worn for ages and ages and ages and some nude accessories and before we go i'm going to switch up some of my other accessories. I'm gonna switch everything up because this arrived. Oh my gosh. As you know, Missima is oh my gosh, I can't even. I was gonna say Missima is my favourite. Favourite, favourite, favourite. I have so many happy memories wearing Missima pieces. And so every time they release a new collection, I just get so excited about it. So let's dig in and see the necklaces i'm wearing right now are missima and these guys here as well so hoo, 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 hoo. let's have a look oh there are four boxes in here so i'm really excited to be partnering with missima for this part of the video and they asked me to pick out my favorites from the new collection which is called let them create they want to spark creativity in their community whatever that might be and once you see the pieces you'll ex you'll understand why they've called this collection what it is and when i was asked to pick my favorite pieces from the collection i not joking replied i love every single one so that just gives you an indication of how much i love missima and i actually don't know exactly what's in here because i sent basically the entire thing back saying i love everything i don't know what's actually in these boxes i had a few top top favorites um and then I I literally just went through the whole new collection and fell in love with everything. So let's have a look. Oh, let me take this snake chain off. This is their 
snake chain, which I wear a lot, and then this is one of the necklaces. Now, one of the necklaces in the collection is quite similar to this, and I wear this so much. Hold on, let me try and... Does anyone else got like 10 chins trying to take off their jewellery? There we go. <laughs> right, let's open up this box first. <gasps> There's two in here. <gasps> wow! So these are the two bracelets. They look so great together. All the jewellery is really really gorgeous so so elegant and then you have charms that you can add on to them to elevate the pieces as well so this is one of the charms but i think i might put this on a necklace look how beautiful that is with a little opal in the middle so this little guy is the matching necklace to the bracelet that i have and this was my absolute favorite so i'm so excited about this and then i can put the charm on it so it's a gorgeous chain sits really beautifully on and then oh I did it oh my gosh that looks incredible I actually might put this on a different necklace <laughs> change my mind I'm going to switch everything up and that's what's so exciting about the new collection is that you can really just get creative and have a play entirely yourself so this is really similar to the necklace I was wearing except it has one side which are more circular hoops and the other side which are more rectangular hoops so I might take my little charm off and I'm going to put it on this one right in the middle and then layer these two together I love how that looks. I'm gonna take this guy off for now. My favorite one, so we can see this in all its glory with the charm. I mean, that's incredible. So you can really be super versatile with the Missima collection, which is what I love. At a time when we're all looking to be more conscious about what we're buying, you can switch everything up so easily and get creative and feel more confident. So let me know what you think. I love how these two bracelets sit side by side together and I'm not sure what necklace I'm going to wear today but I think I might go with this one and then switch this up later maybe add a charm on this one too so yeah what I love about this also is that I can add a few more charms and then make it an entirely different necklace or strip it all back and just wear the chain and then it's having like multiple necklaces in one now I can show you the necklace a bit more close up it's so beautiful this little locket and with my matching bracelets as well. If you want to shop the new Missima collection, I will leave the links to everything down below so you can find everything down there. I'll leave exactly what I have and I'll also leave the links to the main page. I'll put some pictures on the screen now of the other little charms that you can get your hands on because there's so many gorgeous ones. There's one that looks like a planet. I think it's actually called a sphere but it looks to me like a little mini planet and it's blue and there's a green one and a black one. Oh, there's so many gorgeous ones that I want. I might actually make an order and see if it comes later on this week because I want more. By the way, I didn't show you that this little guy is actually a locket. Hey there, cheeky monkey. We're going for a little walk. Oh, that dog's coming to find Leo. <laughs> I just had a meeting, went to get Leo and now I'm gonna go meet Vic for a nice tea, maybe a drink, maybe a mojito. Ooh, I'm in the mood for a mojito, something like that. Anyway, maybe a glass of wine. <laughs> Just reeling off menu options here. I changed bags to this Fendi bag. I felt like it carried more when I'm with Theo. I need like a little bowl of water, like a little pop-up bowl of water. If you don't have one of these to adopt, it's so clever literally like opens up and then you can put water on it in it even so you don't doesn't drink all the like grim puddles around london uh, we're going to chucks and mayfair so i'm just walking there now and i'm getting really hot this weather is so weird you don't know if you should be wearing light layers or thin layers but it's also about to rain because down in front of these houses are very open found the fries found the tea found it Hello. We actually haven't seen each other since February. Finland. No, February is March. Oh no, I think it was end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's we're been just ages. We've got so much to talk about that we're talking about ten different conversations that are all kind of interspersed. Yeah. And then we go back to the first one and then the third one. It's so true. And I know as soon as I leave, I'm going to be like, oh, I forgot this. I know. This, I know. know. There's just loads I'm going to say yet. Oh my god, baby. He's so cute with me. No biting. 
No. No bite. No. No. <laughs> I got back from seeing Vic and that was lovely. We just spoke for three hours <laughs> straight. It was great. I'm making some dinner. I'm making some comfort food, being rice in my rice cooker. This rice cooker is actually for eight people. It's not really good when you're cooking for one, <laughs> which is what I'm doing tonight. I love it because it's so much easier when I'm hosting. Um, it's much easier to make something smaller than make something bigger when you're cooking in it. Anyway, I just heard from the vet. Now, I wanted to thank you all so much for your lovely messages on my last video after what happened with Duke. Um, I was so touched. I, I just feel like I have so many amazing people supporting me and like hugging me through the screen when I'm having sad down moments. Um, anyway, I've been waiting for the vet for a while to come back to me on Duke's Bloods and they just came back to me I'm um, on the way home. I have these little vases with roses in them but they're kind of dying so I'm going to put them close to the window. Um, and they said it is a kidney thing. They weren't very specific, they said that it's a kidney enzyme issue that they need to check out fully and they need to keep him in for a whole day to do that. Note to self, <laughs> don't google kidney enzyme issue Pomeranian dogs. <laughs> because you will see a whole host of things you don't want to see. Kidney failure, kidney disease, kidney cancer, like all these things that I just definitely shouldn't have Googled. I don't know why I thought Googling issues for dogs would be different than Googling issues for humans. You never Google an issue when you have a human issue because it's always terrible. Anyway, I quickly went off my computer and I was like, right, I'm coming right downstairs. My computer's in the office upstairs. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So anyway, came downstairs and now I'm making dinner and talking to you instead of Googling all the kidney things that could be going on with Duke because that is not time efficient or productive or helpful. Right? <laughs> I have been shooting today, hence the dress. <laughs> Looks like a little navy Christmas tree. I have two deliveries that have arrived. One, and both of them match my dress. And two, so I'm gonna take that as a sign, I think. <laughs> it's all meant to be today. This was the necklace I was wearing the other day from Missima with the charm, and I'm gonna switch that out because I got a new charm. It's the one I wanted, because it matches my nails. Look, the light blue and the dark blue. This is the little blue sphere, it's beautiful. So what I've done is I've put on two charms on one necklace. I love how that looks, it's kind of like a tar charm necklace now. And this is another new piece, which is a little key necklace, which is beautiful. Keys are symbols of good luck. My mum always gives me any key things, key key rings actually she always gives me. So I think I'm gonna layer this up as well. And I love this, love this bubble chain. There we go. Tonight I am going with a stay for yoga in the park and I'm hoping the weather holds out because it's been kind of a nice day today. Let's see, because last time I went it was raining a little bit, not bad, but we literally take our yoga mats and properly sit in the park and do yoga and you just hear like people with their children, people calling their dogs, birds, wind, it's amazing and do yoga for and do yoga for an hour and a half. Let's open this door right up. There was a little set that I felt like I wanted to get for autumn winter and I don't want to let go of dresses just yet as you can see by what I'm wearing now. I'm not ready to say goodbye to dresses. So I got this little two piece from Isabel Marant, which is more of an autumnal set two piece. I'm gonna try this on, cause it looks so me. My sister has the summer version of this, but in the dress. And then I also got a belt, which I thought would be great to wear with jumpers. It's literally a plain leather belt. I think you loop through. I think that's how it looks. I need to copy the, um, the website but I wanted something almost adjustable that didn't have um didn't have like holes in it so I could wear it with whatever I wanted to. This is the little two piece on. I've tucked the top into the skirt. The top is quite big actually but I think when it's tucked into the skirt the skirt almost counteracts how big and floaty the top is and makes it look really put together and almost like it's a dress like the top is really flowy and gorgeous and then the skirt is quite 
tight and fitted. I love the ruffles of it. This is very Love Shack fancy sort of vibe and I've just paired this with black accessories. I think this would actually look so great with biker boots. Like I really see this working so well and I think with gold accessories it's such a win. Because there are so many cool tones in the dress the gold accessories really counteract that and it's such a nice contrast. If I wanted a more relaxed look I could tuck out the shirt which I think looks great as well. I might actually try it on with the belt. This belt is such a winner. It's so hard for me to find really good versatile belts and I know this one I'll pair with so many things because it doesn't have any hardware so it doesn't restrict on what hardware colour I can go with with my bag or with my jewellery and I feel like it makes enough of a statement that's an interesting belt without taking away from if I'm wearing something really frilly and detailed like this dress. This is such a good find. It's from Louise V. Rome. I haven't really seen it anywhere else and it has a little bow on it below and this is why I love shopping on Louise V. Rome because I always find such unique things. I think I actually also got my shoes which are these Manolos on Louise V. Rome as well. They always do the best deals and in my opinion they have the best reward loyalty scheme. I think recently I ended up with like a £250 voucher from them just from spending and buying there so if I can find something online and I can find it on Louise Via Rome I always buy stuff from there because I end up getting so much money back so anyway it's really great and I'm really really happy with this look. By the way guys I am wearing my favourite three combo on my skin at the moment this primer which is Oh my heaven, I literally couldn't live without this. My by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Foundation and the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder as well. And I still have my by Terry 20% off code. So if you did want to get 20% off these little guys, I will leave what I'm using and the code down below. Yoga in the park time. I'm not one of those yoga professionals that has like a thing to hold their mat across their shoulder or something. So I look a bit like a yoga newbie but that's fine right <laughs> i need to go find a stay and i'm ready to just feel zen with the trees and get my feet on the earth and unwind unwind oh the bus driver is laughing at me vlogging <laughs> hello beautiful trees hello sky oh wow the park i am stood in the middle of the park with my yoga mat. Look at a bit late, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh, is that their yoga class? There are people doing yoga, but Estee said she's not here yet. Oh my gosh, my absolute worst nightmare is walking into a class and it's already started. Even if it's open in the park and you're not walking into it, but you're joining the class after it's already started. Oh god, cringe. I really hope it's not that class and that there's other people doing yoga. Where are you, Rosso? Oh, the sun's coming through the trees and it looks so beautiful. And there they are. Aloha. <laughs> Feet to earth, yes. Look at this beautiful sky we have tonight. It's so pretty. behind you again take any movement you want to take care before we come there's like a proper band over there we were like shavasnaying over here and then that was like pretty great yeah i'm loving this music okay putting the shoes back on i was here <laughs> my space for my mouth this is where the band is that we're live performing for our yoga session we need to go see what was it about to end I wonder if there's a conductor. Can I tell you the most random thing about me of all time? Sure. I used to have conducting lessons. Really? Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. That's so cool. How funny is that? Such a bit lame. I don't know. That's like my very, very useless skill. God, these guys are so good. Imagine doing yoga to this. <laughs> Pasta night. What did you get, Rebecca? I got pesto. Same. Let's have a look. Okay. One, two. Oh my god. Look at that. 
Thank wow. God. You got tiny telly. This is my tiny telly. Pesto. Delish. Extra parmesan. Mm. Come here. Like, Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Abby. This is what Duke does too. Really? Yeah, he like runs away, but he wants to go outside. Listen. Come on. <laughs> oh, I love her. <laughs> Go on, we're all cornering you from all angles. Oh, oh you did it. Night, night, moo. Night, night, my moo. Going to my first casual dinner tonight. What I mean by casual dinner is dinner that doesn't have a purpose <laughs> apart from to eat. Like I feel like every time I've gone out to a restaurant since lockdown, like since the restaurant's opened, I feel like if there's been a purpose, it's been like a birthday or a celebration or something. This is literally for sushi and I'm so okay with that. So I'm wearing my brand new little outfit, my Isabel Marot, and I've paired this with my Hermes bag, I'm doing some major mixing of the metals right now because I have my biker boots on. I'm fully whipping out the biker boot situation. And then I have my gold Missima necklaces. I put just this charm on this necklace and then I'm gonna stack that with this cute little key ring, which I love. I love this shorter bobble chain as well. And then on my wrist, I put my little charm on the bracelet which sits really nicely. I'm gonna spritz myself in the brand new fragrance from Armani. This is called My Way and it's really floral and feminine. This is the menu situation now. A little card. I've got the essentials, my gin and tonic. Oh, this is the best dish. The crispy rice, the amount of times I've tried to make this at home and it never happens. And the salmon. comments on your tail. Waggy tail, waggy tail, waggy tail, waggy tail, waggy tail. I love you. I love you, my baby. That's gonna be it for this week's vlog. Ooh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're having a really great week. <laughs> Better week than my coat's having. See you next Sunday with another video. I think I'm gonna do my proper huge shroom tour for that well not huge shroom tour but like the proper huge run through of the shroom and i will see you then